Hello everybody and welcome back! Welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect 2! Last time, and the last time before that, we were scanning planet- well, not scanning, I keep saying scanning, we're not scanning, we're exploring planets! Looking at which planets are most interesting, and uh, picking up a whole heap of side missions, and uh, completing a whole heap of side missions. By my calculations, we have four clusters, yet to explore fully and then we can go to uh, where we need to go for the main mission I forget where it is but anyway enough chit chat let us press on because I really cannot wait uh, I believe this system has been done to death so uh, it's just a matter of uh, us traveling to somewhere new right what is left to do? We have the Eagle Nebula. And the Relic System. Quite a lot of systems here. We're bound to bump into at least a few planets that I need uh, our attention. Right. We are in the relic system, starting out with a very small planet of rough tide, a dwarf planet with a shroud of carbon monoxide and dioxide that keeps it warm. Move on to another purpley planet, Praying Mouth. Praying Mouth is a ship-killing enigma. It is the Bermuda Triangle of the Terminus systems. There are many theories why ships never return from there. Undetectable space debris, old disruptor torpedoes, and magnetic mines from a long-forgotten war. Even miniature black holes. But what is clear is that too many ships have been lost there for it to be happenstance. Black, uh, the Bermuda Triangle of, of of the galaxy. Beach Thunder sounds like some kind of corny film, doesn't it? <laughs> Beach Thunder lives and dies on the price of titanium, the metal being the only reason to come to this frozen rock. The best-selling e-novel, The Hard Stuff, has popularised the story of the miners on the planet. Follows the Hannah and Drell robo miners competing with Krogan and Vorcher, who simply put on environment suits and lays the titanium out more or less by hand. As the novel's promotional screed says, accidents are frequent, rivalry is fierce, and vengeance served up fast. We've been to murky water for some reason, <coughs> probably to mine it. Moving on to Fitful Current. <clears throat> no interesting backstory about that place. Murky Water. Despite the name, Murky Water has yet to show any signs of having water whatsoever. Its name is a literal translation from the original Hana, who consider Murky Water a sign of danger. First land. I take it this is a Hana based um, system. Island Wind. And that is the relic system. Moving on to a moon. Here we are, the Amun system. <coughs> Neath. Cold and dry, Neath has a thin nitrogen atmosphere and vast salt flats at its equator, which is warm enough for liquid water to pool during the summer period. The revealed salt is collected and sold to sodium poor planets for agricultural purposes. During the Anna rebellions, Neath 
was the staging ground for the Eclipse ships and was the site of their first defeat, when enemy Nehesit surprised and routed them with a superior force. Some wreckage from the battle can still be found on the planet today. What is I have this? Found something. Wreckage of a, of a merchant freighter. Damage to ship catastrophic. Detecting movement but no signs of organic life. Which probably means signs of non organic life. Which probably means geth. Ah. You know what? I was so. T Saturday night tonight, I was supposed to go out and watch Star Wars, but I didn't get around to doing so because. One of my friends was going out, so Saturday night has become uh, Star Wars night for me. I'll take Zaid and Garrus. So instead, I'm sat here LPing this to a finish. He's probably got about f between four and five hours left of this game, and I'm going to play it all tonight in one last hurrah, so to speak. And I was going to go out today and buy some wine. I decided against it, and now I'm regretting the decision. A sandstorm is approaching from the northwest. Proceed with caution. Who shuttles that? That's on my shuttle. Edie, do you have any pearls of wisdom for us? I don't like the look of this. Fly, uh, refined Platinum. We're not exactly short of materials really, but since we're here, it'd be a shame to pass up what uh, is available. System Status Report. Holy moly. Starting with Engineering. Compromised. Catastrophic damage to primary and secondary cores. Element zero exposure levels critical. Fuel leaks throughout the engineering deck. Navigation status. Critical. Sensor status. Compromised. Life support. Compromised. Shield status. Normal. VI network. Compromised. Communications. Compromised. Well, things sound rather uh, grim, I have to say. More logs over here. Navigator's log. Captain, short range sensors just went offline and I'm locked out of helm control. The VI is reporting malfunctions all over the ship. Well, next we'll be stumbling across dead bodies, won't we? At the moment. Attention all hands. Maybe they all go down on escape pods, that's why. There's no bodies lying around. Shipping manifest. 14 crates of reflective mech armor. 180 Loki mechs. And one big mech, which means we're going to get a nasty surprise very soon, aren't we? They're probably going to ambush us from down here somewhere, whilst we're up here messing about with a ship. That's what caused the accident. Multiple hostiles powering up at your location. Recommend immediate extraction. I thought so. <sighs> Fight through the mechs to get back to my shuttle. Well, we came all this way to poke our noses up here, and uh, oh well, this is a blown up ship. Oh dear, now we're in a trouble. Could we just fly by this planet? I mean, come on, Shepard. 
always getting us into trouble with your damn inquisitive nature. Garrus, you have overload. What less to worry about? Yeah. Uh oh. Woo! Bouncy, bouncy. And they fell down. Look, whoa, dear! Fell down the hill. Storm activity has reduced visibility to ninety percent. How very clumsy! Uh oh. Your ammunition's on! Oops a daisy! Took my head up at the wrong moment! And now I'm out of cover! Why am I not hit? What in the hell? Uh oh, Garrus is down. Oh my god, both team members are down! What the hell's going on here? You Bunch of useless people. Sandstorm activity has reduced visibility to sixty-five percent. Proceed to shut your Ah! Help me! I'm getting a side swiped. Come on, let's get to the shuttle. Bounce, baby, bounce. Found no survivors. Deactivated distress beacon. All right, let's keep on exploring. So back. Hydrogen. Nitrogen gas giant believed to be an extrasolar capture. Sobek's low G moons were sites of many Batarian labor camps during the Anher rebellions, generating raw materials for the war. When the slaves were finally liberated by Eclipse, the mercenaries found abysmal conditions, including whole camps that lacked mass effect fields to keep the gravity at habitable levels. The widespread bone loss among the slaves was part of their master's final degradation. It would cripple them if they ever left for a standard gravity world. The plight of the slaves soon garnered galactic media attention and several charities sprang up to pay for their physical therapy and find them gainful employment. Eclipse, normally reviled for their cutthroat tactics and criminal employees, found themselves painted as heroes. The mercenary company still retains an office on Sobek's moon, Heket, out of nostalgia as much as a business strategy. So, they're not all bad then, the Eclipse, are they? Maybe we, should, maybe we should look at them in a different light. Sekhmet. And finally... Bast. Small hydrogen nitrogen gas giant. The Eclipse mercenaries come company's fallback position after their defeat at Neath. Once they gathered their strength, they leaked a false position to the Nahasit consortium to lure them into a trap which devolved into a pinched or a pitched battle. Both sides claimed victory, Nahasit lost more ships, but could afford the setback in a way the Eclipse could not. So this this this, this system home to a uh, battle between uh, Clips and that other Nehem Nehemit, or whatever they were called. Malgus! We have Rill, a pl palladium rich planet, which is why it's already been uh, discovered. Rill, a planet only a vulture could love. Not notable for its near miss climate, punishing heat, and a thin, toxic methane ethane atmosphere. Its surface is dotted with Krogan and Vulture habitats, eking out a meagre living off a planet 
uh, the planet's tin and copper deposits and killing anyone who cuts into their profits. Hmm, sounds like a charming place to be. The rather large Uzin, named for one of the many Krogan gods of vengeance. Uzin is a gas giant close enough to its orange sun that none of its moons are consider uh, considered habitable. Flet. Uninhabitable by most species, Flet is home to the blood packs, vulture training and breathing grounds. The thick atmosphere is nearly all nitrogen and lacks oxygen, which poses no hazard to the vulture. Needing little but imports of food and water, vulture mercenaries and mercenaries to be trade religiously to overpower and kill whoever the company is at war with at the time. <laughs> 